Good morning and welcome to another Excite Tech BIM 360 surgery. It's Friday and this morning it is surgery number 60, believe it or not. And today I thought I would take a little look at the reporting side of BIM 360 and what can be done. Um, so I came up with the idea on Monday that I would do this and then on Tuesday Autodesk dropped a load of new amazing updates for BIM 360 document management. So them updates I'm going to cover um, next week. So there's some new stuff coming there, some amazing new tools. But today we're going to look at the reporting side of things in what can be done in various different guises throughout the system. So I'm in my usual BIM 360 surgery project. There's lots of stuff going on, project submittals, RFIs, project issues. We've got design issues. We've got packages, lots of different stuff happening in and around the project. So first of all, I'm going to jump into module selector, go to document management, and I'm going to look at the issues tab and look at what is happening in there so first of all reporting around issues is a really really great thing to do because you can quickly get context of where you are in your project so whilst you're in the unified issues tab you have the export field over here and depending on what you've got enabled so I've got PDF export XLS CSV or BCF so PDF will automatically um, process and then send you an email once it's ready so i can do that now and that will fire off and generate the report just to show you the other options i can go to an xls and that should automatically fire out um as well to an email saying that that's been generated and if i want i can go to csv and you'll see the csv is an automatic so if i go to desktop and let's save it we can have a look at the csv and if i wish i could go and export that out to BCF as well and you can see some of them are automatic some just take a little bit of time and you will get an update uh, Not sure why that's happened, but I've not really done the BCF export before and if we just look at the BC or the CSV file Let's have a look at what's in there. And if we just um, maximize all our columns and you can see that you get all your content. So the ID type, subtype, all the standard information that you would expect then in there. So that's pretty much a manual sort of export and ex we push it out whenever we want. But we can also start to look at creating reports um, that can be scheduled and can be run at certain criteria within the system. And that's really the reporting side of things that I wanted to look at. So project members or project admins with access to the insight module will have the ability to go in and author and create reports within the system. So I'm gonna run through a couple of examples. So within insight, you get obviously all the different areas with design, cost, scheduling, quality, safety, and then the last tab finally then is the reports section. So this is where it will host all the reports that have been run on the system. So this is your, your log of all the reports. You can see various different dates, mostly today. Um, and then you can have your recent reports and you can use filtering um, to filter by type and my reports and you can do all the standard filtering stuff. But then you get the saved section. And this is where you can actually go in and create your reports which can then be deployed into your project so let's say we want to create a brand new report so i'm going to go create report and depending on the modules that you have access to or that are activated in your project you've got document management where we can do issue detail uh, which will give full detailed fields about all the issue attributes and attachments and then you have a summary which is more a top level um, report just showing the basic status type and description but with, without the detail under field management or project management we have rfis submittals and then under field we've got checklist and then issue detail issue summary for the field issues and then we have a daily log so if we first of all look at the document management issue detail we click select and this brings us into the report builder so first of all we can go into the title and we can give that a new name if we wish but for now i'm just going to say this is the issue detail report click my blue tick it automatically defaults it as a pdf there is no other option you can then go in and 
specify how we're sorting it. So first of all, I may sort it by status. Then I may sort it by the uh, due date. And then you can go in and filter and build in what you want included or excluded in your report. So um, I want a general report for all my issues. So I'm not really going to worry too much about the different types. So I'm going to leave that blank. But the status, I really want to have as open and maybe any um, not approved, ready to inspect. You can tick these on and off, but I'm just gonna go just open issues currently. Then I can select locations. So if you want to filter it down by location, you can. You can do assign to, so you can take the different companies, roles, or members. But again, I'm just gonna keep this at a pretty high level for now. I can do it on due date, so I can say, whether it's today, tomorrow, this week, last week. So typically you may go in and go, give me all my issues that are due this week, run it off on a Monday. Uh, we can do the root causes and we can also go create it by. And that probably the important one is then was how we're picking up the timestamp as to when it was created. And I'm going to say that it was created in a specific date range. And if we just go, let's say, this is the annoying thing is the little calendar pops up and down depending on the size of the month. So if we go first to January and we go right through till today, and we are here. So that's my date range. And what I can also do is in here under share and schedule is that I could have this run every day. So I could say that I want to share that with myself uh, and I want to schedule that every week and it's a Monday, and I could say that I want it to run from today until June 21, and I can run now. So that will then run the report now, but then because it's scheduled every Monday at nine o'clock, that report then is going to update and send it to me. Now, typically what you would do that, if you're doing something like that on a scheduled report, you would probably go for the last week or this week of issues rather than what I have done, which is the complete um, date range for the year. So we can also go in and create another report. We can go to project management. Uh, we could go and say if there's any RFI details, click select. And again, it's the same process that's happening is that you build it, let's sort it by, we're not going to put a lot of filtering in here. So we're just going to go create it in the last, let's say 200 days and closed in the last 200 days also. And uh, we could just go and run that one. And then while this is running, I may go into, let's say, field management. Um, if we've got any, let's say, if I don't know if we've got any daily logs, we may do, click select. And again, as the report type changes, um, the options that you get for that particular type changes. So again, I'm just going to run that off. So you can see these reports are generating. If I check my email and I go to my BIM 360 folder, you will see that I'm now getting the email to say that the issue report that I've just generated has arrived. I can click download, click save, and then I get my issue report via email. So that will then open in Excel. You can see there is the issue report and you've got a report title sheet cover, and then you have your Excel items within um, Excel. So then if we go back to my report again, this is the other one. I can click download and this will then be the PDF report. So click save and then we open that and you will see then this is the PDF report. You can see this is the issues and the great thing about the reports is they're hyperlinked. So if I want to check the roof spec, I click that and then this is then hyperlinked straight into here and you'll see that the issue is also hyperlinked. So when I click here, this will then open a BIM 360 and then take me direct to that issue and it should open up the issue. You will see here we are, this is issue number 40 and then I can begin my review process to make changes or what have you throughout the system. If we look at these reports here that I have just generated, you will see they are run and they are part of the recent and then I can click each more menu click download and it will download that daily log. Now, I'm not 100% if there's going to be anything in this. There is, you can see that this is the daily log report, four items, 
and then we can click in and you can see that the it gives you the weather gives you the labor and the hours the workers for each of the daily logs and then if we go back and we look at the rfi detail again we click download and we click save there we have you see in this one there's actually no rfis in this project so it will still generate a report even though there is nothing there so that's pretty much how it starts to work what you can do then is just if you look at my new possible project what i've done in this instance is i have created scheduled reports for each of the systems so each company then gets a scheduled report you can see the syst structures team get a weekly issue report the ar architectural team again get a weekly issue report so each team gets a report um, of the weekly issues and then they get a weekly summary as well and you see they come at 9 30 and then 9 a.m on the monday mornings and if we go in and look at you can see these are going to this company this one's going to this company and they're all just scheduled in and if we look at the saved reports you will see they're all in here you can see they're scheduled every week and if we just go in and edit one of them you can see what happens so we're pulling off all the weekly issues then we're going to sharing and that's sharing with the engineering company at monday at 9 a.m or 9 30 a.m every week and that's how you can then so what will happen is every monday you just get your reports automatically sent to you so you know what work you have to do that week so that's pretty much it for um this one um just a little bit of an insight into how reports and summaries can be used within your projects thank you very much for joining me uh, stay safe out there and don't forget to join me for another surgery next week